What's up guys, my name is Alex and in this video we are going to take advantage of Arizona Sportsbooks. We're going to make money off the Arizona Sportsbooks. Um, so what's crazy about the US betting market, if you're new to sports betting, is that all of the states have different sportsbooks, right? So Colorado has legal sports betting, their sportsbooks are different than Arizona. Of course there's some overlap, DraftKings, FanDuel, but largely every state you go to has different sportsbooks. Um, what's really amazing about this is Arizona recently launched sports betting. There's a sports book called WinBet, and you can get WinBet in every new state that you go to. So I have a WinBet account in Virginia, in New Jersey, um, a few other states as well in Colorado, in Tennessee, and you get the sign-up bonus, which you can see right here, get a risk-free bet up to $1,000 on your first sports bet in new promos daily. So I think I have five or six win bet accounts. I've gotten the $1,000 risk-free bet on every single account, which is pretty amazing. And what we're going to do is kind of what we've done in other videos. I made a video like this for Tennessee is we're going to look for a good line to bet on and, you know, make some money and talk about how much money we're making. Um, so what, you know, you can see it right here, get a risk-free bet up to a thousand dollars. You can, you know, click on the terms, whatever it says, the start time, the end time is a year later in 2022. So if you're in Arizona, you're still obviously good to do this. And you can see if I click on any odd on WinBet, it'll say, okay, your wager is risk-free. You can see risk-free right there next to wager. And it says it right here too. Your bet is risk-free up to a thousand dollars. So what does that mean, right? If I click on the terms, you can see, okay, your first bet is risk-free up to $1,000 with a minimum $20 first deposit. So how much did I deposit? $1,200 and terms apply. So you can read the terms and you can see that if you lose your bet, you get back a free bet, which we'll talk about a bit in a second. But this promo is extremely profitable and we'll go through the math. Um, so what we can do is we can go to odds jam. You can go to the low holds page and then you can go to filter by sports book and you can type in win bet. And all this does is it essentially shows you the best possible free bet opportunities on win bet. So we can see right here, Mississippi versus LSU. You can get LSU plus 300 on win bet and Mississippi is minus 305 on Barstool. So if you wanted to hedge, you could hedge, you know, pretty easily. Um, this is just one example and you can kind of look through and see if there's anything you like. Now, I'm not going to be uh, in Phoenix for um, that long. So I kind of want to bet on something tomorrow. So the NBA is starting. We have basketball starting and we also have baseball. Um, so what we can do is we can go to win bet and we can pull up baseball because there was a line that I liked earlier and we can go to the Braves Dodgers game. So I'll remove this from my bet slip and then we can go to alternate run lines and you can see the Braves minus 1.5 run line is plus 255 odds. We've explained this in other videos, but you want your free bet to have long odds. I'm trying to think of a better word for it. But um, you don't want to place your free bet on something that's, you know, minus 390. You want your free bet ideally to be plus 250, plus 300, whatever. You want it to have higher odds, right? A risk-free bet means you get your money back if you lose. So it's like a free lottery ticket. You want that lottery ticket to be on odds that are, you know, kind of long. Um, we can talk about the math in a second. Hopefully it makes more sense. But long story short... You know, you don't want to place your risk-free bet on something that's minus 240 odds. It makes no sense. You're going to win a minus 240 bet most of the time. So the risk-free aspect of the promotion doesn't get you that far. So we can see Atlanta Braves minus 1.5 plus 255. I'm not going to be in Phoenix that long. So I want to place a bet on something tomorrow. And we can see the Braves Dodgers. They play tomorrow at 2 p.m. Um, if we go to Pinnacle... Um, what we can do is kind of look at Pinnacle as a source of truth in the betting market. It's a very efficient betting market. As you can see, they have the Braves minus 1.5 plus 250 odds, right? And we're getting Braves minus 1.5 plus 255. So slightly better. Um, so this is a good spot for, you know, a risk-free bet. They're not giving you a terrible price. They're giving you a better price than Pinnacle. So maybe this is something good to bet on. So what we can do is put a thousand bucks on it. Let's see if they take it. Place risk-free bet. 
Could not verify location. Please help us confirm that you're in Arizona. Come on. So we'll confirm my location. It confirmed my location, and now I'll place it. And it's going to make me log back in. So I'll log back in, and then I'll place this bet. So we'll log back in, and then we'll place this bet, and then we'll kind of talk about the math. So Braves minus 1.5 plus 255 odds. They're up 2-0 on the Dodgers. Maximum stake allowed is $500. Okay, that's very frustrating. So they're not even letting me bet the full amount, um, $1,000 for the risk-free promotion. And this is literally the first bet I'm placing on this platform. Um, so what we'll do is we can go back to the low holds page. And what we can do is we can go to low holds and look for another bet that may be good. It looks like it's not going to let me place the bet on something um, that high of odds. So we can go back to win bet. We can do show player prop, sure. And you can see tomorrow, you can get the Braves plus 157. What does Pinnacle have them? We can go back to Pinnacle. Pinnacle has them plus 156. So this is less optimal, but for the, you know, just the sake of example, we'll place this bet. Obviously, I wish that, you know, this wager I was about to place for this promotion had longer odds was plus 250, plus 350, plus 450, whatever, but plus 157 will do. So we'll place this bet and boom, there, we got a cool drop down. This bet was placed. We're betting a thousand to win 1570. So now let's talk about the math of this risk-free bet. So now I have to change this, which is annoying. Braves money line plus 157 and we're betting a thousand dollars. So obviously our profit, if we win is 1.57, times this, right? We're winning 1,570 bucks if our bet wins. Now, Pinnacle, kind of a source of truth in the sports betting market, has the Braves plus 156, the Dodgers minus 170. So if we go to a no vague odds calculator, plus 156, minus 170, the true odds that the Braves are to win this game, it's roughly plus 161. So obviously, you know, we got plus 157. It's not a plus EV bet. It's not a profitable bet. But because of the promotion, it's obviously profitable. But profitable. But this isn't a bet we would have placed otherwise. So we place this bet. So we now have our one bet, Braves, uh, money line plus 157 odds. And their win percentage is 38.29%. So once you remove the VIG, you remove the juice from Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book in the world, um, we see that the Braves are roughly 38.29% to win the game. So this is the break-even win probability, right? Um, once you remove the juice from the market, you get the point of indifference for the sports books, right? So Pinnacle would be giving you plus 161 on the Braves, minus 161 on the Dodgers. That is a zero juice market, a fair market. So what we can do now is we can go here and we can see, okay, the Braves are 38.29% to win and the Dodgers are 61.71% to win, which is what you see right here. So now we know that 38.29% of the time, we're going to be winning 1570, right? So if we were just to place this bet outright and there was no, no promotion, then our expected value would be 38.29% of the time we're winning 1570 in profit. We bet on the Braves $1,000 at plus 157 odds. The other 61.71% of the time we're losing $1,000, which is our stake. The EV of this bet would be negative $16. So our $1,000 bet would be bad by $16. Um, with regards to expected value. But what we know is that if our wager loses, we don't lose this money, right? We get back $1,000 in a free bet. So if you don't know what free bets are, we have a bunch of other videos covering them. But you know, if you do know what free bets are, we've talked about free bet conversion percentage. So a free bet isn't cash, right? Because you have to bet it once to turn it back into cash. So it's not like this is some crazy sports book with a 10 times playthrough. It's just one times playthrough, but you're getting a free bet as opposed to cash back. So you still have to bet that one more time to convert your free bet back into cash. So what we can do is go back to the low holds page and we can just say, okay, like if my bet was to lose tomorrow, hopefully it doesn't, hopefully the Braves win and they go up 3-0 on the Dodgers, but who knows if that'll happen. So we'll put in win bet again. And we can see that, okay, worst case, if I'm to get 
a free bet back. If the Braves are to lose, I can convert that free bet, right? We can sort by conversion percentage actually here. Um, I can convert that free bet into cash at a rate of 75.56%. What does that mean, right? If I put my $1,000 free bet on win bet, so again, if my risk-free bet loses, if the Dodgers win tomorrow, the Braves lose, win bet, it's not like I just lose the money. They're giving me back an $1,000 free bet. Now, I can place that $1,000 free bet on Texas State Moneyline plus 340 on win bet, which you see right here. Texas State plus 340. So I can place my $1,000 free bet on that. And I can hedge on BetMGM with Georgia State minus 350. And if I, you know, follow the hedge calculator, I can turn my free bet into $755.56 of risk-free profit, right? This is called free bet conversion, converting free plays, match betting, whatever you want to call it. It's turning your free bet or free play on a sports book back into cash. That's what a free bet calculator does. So if we're to hedge this bet properly, we're getting back $755.56. So we can see if I lose, um, 755.56. So best free bet, you know, conversion currently. And maybe again, tomorrow, like if I searched harder for this, I could probably get something 80%, 85%. Um, a free bet isn't as good as cash, right? Because you have to bet it once, you're not getting back your stake, you have to convert it into cash. But you can see like, okay, I'm getting back seven. 700 if I had a thousand dollar free bet I could convert it risk-free into 755 bucks which isn't particularly bad um, so now we can figure out the expected value of our promotion right which would mean our loss on free bet is this right so we would lose 244 dollars if the Dodgers were to win and we were to hedge our free bet at a rate of 75.56%. Um, because again, we're getting back a free bet. We have to bet that once. So we're turning our $1,000 free bet into $755.56 in cash, which we could then withdraw from our account. So we're losing $244 if the Dodgers win tomorrow. So now we have this, you know, whatever you want to call it. We have this formula where if the Dodgers win tomorrow and we hedge our free bet with BetMGM, our $1,000 free bet we get back, if we hedge Texas State and Georgia State, we're converting a $1,000 free bet into 755 bucks of cash, which means we're losing roughly 244 bucks. Now, if the Braves win, we win $1,570 cash. No strings attached. We could withdraw all of that earnings directly from our account and never place a bet on WinBet Arizona again. So it seems pretty good, right? Like we're winning either 1570 if the Braves win or if the Dodgers win, we only lose 244 bucks, right? Because we're getting back a free bet, which we can then convert into cash. So we have this formula, right? If the Dodgers win, which is 61.71% to happen, Again, according to Pinnacle, if you do kind of the no vague odds and you b remove the juice and find the fair win probability, just, you know, with Pinnacle's market right here. Um, and if we win, so let's go back to that spreadsheet. So if we um, lose the bet, so if the Dodgers win, we're losing 244 bucks. Again, we're not losing $1,000 because we get back a free bet and we can convert that into cash. So 61.71% of the time, we're going to be losing roughly 244 bucks if we're converting our free bets at a rate of roughly 75%. And then 38.29% of the time, we're going to be winning our profit, right? 1570. I screwed something up there. So that definitely seems wrong. Um, let's just put in the math. I screwed up the formula. So 1570 is our profit, which we're winning 38.21% of the time. The rest of the time we're losing 244 bucks. Yeah, 450. So this promotion with what we bet on the Braves money line at plus 157 odds is worth roughly 450 bucks in expected value, 
right? So essentially placing this bet on win bet just now, we made, you know, 100 or we made $450 in expected profit. If the Braves win, we'll have, you know, 2570 in our account, we'll get back our stake, we'll have our profit and I can automatically withdraw that from my account and I'm just up, you know, 1570. Um and if they lose, if the Braves lose, WinBet's going to give me an $1000 free bet, which I can then convert at a rate of roughly 75%. So I'm converting my $1000 free bet into 750 bucks in cash, which means I'm losing roughly $250 all in. Um so that's kind of how you do it. And if you wanted to never lose money, you could hedge your initial bet too. And you could bet a bet on the Dodgers on another sports book like DraftKings. So if we go to Odds Jam, we can go to baseball. And we can check out this game tomorrow. So like now it looks like the best odds are actually on the Dodgers, maybe because WinBet doesn't like my action and they just took the Braves down from plus 157 to plus 155. But you can see like you could hedge part of your bet um, the initial risk-free aspect of your bet, um, by betting on the Dodgers. And you can just look for a good price on the Dodgers. Like DraftKings has minus 170, WinBet has minus 169. Um, obviously don't place the bet on Bovada, which is minus 190, but you can kind of search around and try to find a good price to hedge out a part of your initial bet on the Braves. But this is the point, right? Like, you know, if you're not betting on sports and you're in Arizona or you're in a state with legalized gambling, like this is $450 of expected profit. And if you wanted to, again, you could hedge your initial bet on the Braves by betting a little bit of money on the Dodgers, and you could guarantee that you're never going to lose money. Um, so yeah, the point of this video really was just to talk about sportsbook signup bonuses, how to take advantage of them. And I hope you found this video, you know, helpful. And um, yeah, thanks so much for your time. Bye.